Howdy everybody. So it has been, dang, almost two months since I've been able to make anything. And as you can probably imagine, it's college that's causing that. I spend pretty much most of the time of the day and every day of the week almost uh, in the hospital. So I don't have a whole lot of time to really make anything. Uh, but I'm still trying to make stuff. Uh, my plan was was to record a bunch of stuff on a day that I did and have them, you know, scheduled to come out. Yeah, well, that never happened. But anyway, all of these vehicles that you're going to see today are made by the same guy, Dick Kroom, and he posts these in the Sprocket Official. Uh, he ended up messaging me and directly sending them to me all the way back in September. And uh, I'm now just being able to make anything about them. So this first one that, as you can see, kind of looks like a Jag Tiger, but it's not. It is based off of a Panther II hull, and he takes a 115 millimeter gun. And it looks really nice. So before I pull up the, you know, the UI and everything, you just go around. It looks like a little bit shorter version of a Jag Tiger. And now, if you didn't know that, you would probably assume that it is a Jag Tiger. I did at first until I realized that it says Jag Panther 2. Um, so obviously it's not. <laughs> anyway, uh, he put a lot of detail into this vehicle and it looks really nice. This right here, I love that. I, I don't know what it is about it, but it, I and it just looks really 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 good uh, even the gum mantlet um, everything so I'll just read you what he put in the post on discord this big cat is another addition to my fictional line of late war machines the Jag Panther 2G utilizes the modified Panther 2 hull used on the Sturmwasser wagon mid 25 centimeter Sturm Panther with minor internal changes plus light increase to the frontal and side armor. Additional changes were the complete removal of the Sturm Panther casemate and replaced of a new superstructure to hold the 115mm or 11.5cm pack cannon. Further changes are the reinstallment of the hull MG updated antenna systems for the radio man and a rework of the cooling system and isolated engine refit. So. Without further ado, let's look at some of the other stuff. So now this gun, being a 150 millimeter, we get 200 millimeters of pin and a pretty good velocity. Let's see how fast it is though. You know, it's actually kind of, well, it is on a Panther too. So I, yeah, that makes sense for it to be actually pretty maneuverable. Honestly, wait, let's see what the gun sounds like. Oh, I like it. Let's see how far it can aim down. Pretty far. How far do we get traverse on this left? That's not bad. Cool. Really good velocity. So let's put it up against some stuff. But actually, before that, let's see the armor. Jesus. Yeah. Not much stuff going to get through that. What's the side? 98, 60, 40, 82. Okay. Alright, so I'm assuming something that would make sense for it to fight being a late war vehicle. Let's go with IS Tree. Even though we should be able to get a, a lot better IS Tree nowadays. That's something that I would like for someone to make along with... I figured that was going to happen. Where did he hit me? You know, that's probably one of those ricochets that I'm never going to find that still ends up killing me. Let's pick something else. That is something that I would like someone to make would be an IS-3. Okay, I figured that was going to happen shooting in the lower plate. I didn't figure it was gonna cause any problems. See if I can go through the upper plate. 
Nah. 11 second reload, though. Let's see if she'll... How, like, she likes turning. Not too well, but it is what it is. That suspension looks cool doing that. Alright, the big ones. Oh, it didn't want to do it there for a second. It's handling it just fine. It kind of it takes off too. All right. Well, there is the Jag Panther 2G with the 115 millimeter gun, and let's move on to his next tank that he has sent me. So I figured it would have made sense since the last vehicle was built off of this thing's hull. So this is why I picked this one. So this is the Sturmasoragon mid 25 centimeter Sturm Panther. So the baby brother to the Sturm Tiger, which is really convenient that I, you know, ended up making this when I did and he has a Sturm Panther because in War Thunder the Sturm Tiger is now in the game and I am planning on making stuff for that game uh, soon and I'm going to be doing the Sturm Tiger when I get it which is going to be by the end of this week so anyway let's take a look at this so as you can see very close similarities to the Sturm or not, well, to the Sturm Panther and the previous um, tank we were looking at, Jack Panther, because as you can see, the engine deck looks similar, not quite the same, because he did change some stuff. But look at all the detail that's in this. You know, he used these as if they were like, they would grab onto the shell to maneuver it. The crane looks really nice. It makes some high quality stuff. I really like it. And the gun mantlet for this and the shroud that goes around the barrel itself looks really, really nice. So let's look at first. I want to look at the armor because yeah, yeah, I figured it was going to be like that. So let's look. What's what's so 25 centimeter Rakuten Weffer, 145 millimeters of pin. That's funny. So are we shooting? Yes. Alright, so we pretty much know what the mobility is going to be. Um, let's go back to this. It's a 32 liter V16 and then that's the engine for it. So, let's just see. Can I aim it up? Oh, she's slow, slow. That's as high as it wants to go. Holy crap, that thing has a half of 25 centimeters. Still has one hell of a velocity on it, though. What can we put it up against that would make sense? Let's... Okay, well, I didn't mean that one. That's not something that I should be fighting. Can I... Yeah, no, that wasn't going to happen. That's not what I wanted. I, don't want the... I wanted the whip scorpion. I hit it somewhere. Let's see how she moves. Still pretty, pretty well, actually. I love all the little. St oh, oh, we've gotten hung. There we go. This thing's really fast. It's got a lot of acceleration, but you would think with a V16 at 32 liters, it would be. But you know. Or not hit it. I would say probably that massive black mark that's on the side of the the whip right there. Let's see. That's that's a gigantic hole. <laughs> I love that. So you shot my upper plate, and obviously that's not going to do anything. I just want to see something though. So what if? What does the impact look like over there on the hill? 
So you don't have to aim up as high as I thought I was going to have to. Just want to see. Ah, well, it's AP, so I didn't do as much as I thought I was going to do. Well, that was the Sturm Panther. So, let's move on to his third design that he has sent me. And we'll see how it does. Alrighty, so here is his third design. And keeping up with the Tank Destroyers, and they've been based off the Panther 2. Here is something that is based off the Tiger 2, and it's his Jag Tiger revision. It's like a redesign of the Jag Tiger. And it is named the Panzer Jaeger. I'm going to try my Sapples and Tiger off G. So, roughly, you know, you can tell Jag Tiger when you look at it. Let's do let's do this so it will move it back. All right. So as you can see, if you look at the side, you can see Tiger 2. Like you can you can definitely tell. And there's a little bit of stuff that has been changed on it. And since it is so close, I'll tell you what he said. This 90.85 ton heavy tank destroyer uses the same 12.8 centimeter cannon bar only minor changes being linked and an addition of a muzzle brake the other changes are as follows frontal armor changed to be more sloped and thicker 260 millimeters side armor changed from 80 to 90 lower hull remains the same thickness engine modifications were made to support the increased weight of the vehicle it is now 14 cylinders 1.92 displacement 1990 newton meters of torque max rpm 3700 and its top speed is 26 miles an hour fuel is separated into two one internal and the other external barrel located on the rear minor transmission changes main one being an addition of two extra reverse gears multiple hatches for the ease of access and restocking of munitions an additional 50 cal equivalent coaxial machine gun non-functional as you can see this little thing right here and the antenna was relocated onto this casemate superstructure right there. So, take your Jag Tiger and then everything you know about it. And this one's better. But, as you can see, obviously keeping up with the other two in terms of quality, it looks really, really nice. All the little details on the engine deck. I really like this. Like, I, I don't know I don't know what it is about it but I do the exhaust looks really nice and then you know the paint job and everything like that so let's I uh, can turn these faster than I thought it was going to it'd be 90 tons but all oh, oh, I like that having it at the bottom or the barrel at the bottom of the site like that it looks really nice this thing can scoot What's a gun sound like? Sounds pretty good. I don't know if we can do custom sounds in the game yet. Because I know they changed the engine sounds and um, ICO helped doing that. When that update came out, they helped with all of the engine sounds and stuff like that, which is really nice. Oh, she don't want to turn. Oh, there we go. All right, so what's the depression like? Oh, pretty good. We're about to the left. About what I figured it was going to be. All right, so let's take it back. So this thing, we got a little bit bigger of a gun. Actually, I know something we didn't check. Let's check its gun real quick. Let's see how much pin I got. 232. That sounds about right, honestly. Actually, I think it would be higher on in real life. Anyway, I can't remember. I can't wait till we have a shell designer in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. 152 millimeter say but a 250 millimeter gun shoot in APF SDS. Oh my god. It wouldn't make any sense, but it would be hilarious. And a pretty good muzzle velocity. The 115 was higher, but we have more pin on this. Alright, so now, now since we are in something a little bit more higher in, let's test it against this 
old IS3. Oh boy. You know, what's hilarious is that in real life, history lesson, the IS3 was made in hopes of blocking the German 128mm gun. The armor was designed the way it was on the front to be impervious to the uh, same gun that the Jag Tiger would have used, well, did use in real life. And um, never got to use it during World War II against something like that. And uh, a lot of people were, other nations were really afraid of the OIS 3 when it was uh, shown during the parade and everything like that. Uh, but little did they know how bad that tank actually was. The hull welds would break constantly. And there was just a lot of things about the IS-3 that was really, really bad. Watch any history video on it. You'll see what I'm talking about. It, blo it's re it really blows your mind on how absolutely shitty an IS-3 was. Cool looking tank. I love it. It looks really cool. But... <laughs> In practice, it was horrible. So, anyway, uh, back to his vehicle. This thing looks really dope. I really like all these designs. There is still one more. And, you know, a little bit different. It's a little bit different than what we've been uh, doing so far. Um, this one has a turret. And we are going to be taking that one into a scenario. So, I will see you guys in a second. All right, now we're on to his final design, and this is his rendition of a Tiger II. I'm going to read what he said in the write-up, and off of me just playing this and testing it out, this thing is amazing. Um, it reminds me of a specific tank that I imagine you'll probably be able to see some um, similarities to, but this is what he said. Weighing in at almost 97 tons, this is yet another addition to my what-if rendition tanks. This piece of a cat's improvements have been done to the armor turret, armament, and internals. Starting with the cannon, this heavy tank is housing a stabilized 129mm or 12.9cm main gun, making this a capable machine to take out hostile forces whilst able to take heavy hits back from lesser foes wishing to scratch his paint job. Following this, the engine has been modified to perform better than its predecessor while also dealing with its increased weight. And he left a thank you to the Flying Texan and Vidar for the base Tiger II model and inspiration. And Texan helped with the design of the exhausts. So just look at the detail this thing has and the exhausts look really good but from the back just look it just it just it's perfect it's peak tiger 2 it's a peak tiger 2 design it looks so good with all the little details and everything it just i don't know, it just it's amazing and obviously the turret you know you can see it's a little bit slowed back more the gigantic gun and everything so the armor is different as we'll go over the front of the turret on the regular Tiger II is 185, the upper plate being 150, and the lower plate being 80. Pretty sure it's 80. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. And then the side of the turret was 80, hull was 80, and then the rear, I am not entirely sure what it was on the original Tiger II. But, but, his version is a 200 on the front, 170 on the upper plate and then 150 on the lower plate and then the sides 105 here 96 here 145 where the track is but it's also 96 95 I think it's supposed to be 95 I don't know no 96 95 here and then 80 here and then 85 or 86 and then 88 so let's look at the firepower cannon 129 millimeter gun with 228 pin and a very high muzzle velocity the engine being a 32 cylinder v15 that is such a weird number interesting i have never just trying to process how that engine would look or work hmm well i guess the only thing we can do 
is to take it out on fields as we do with every episode and see how she does but let's look how perfect that looks I can't get over it. I just love the look of a tiger too and to croom what I'm saying here is that your tank has a nice ass and I'm going to continue to stare at it and there is nothing that you're gonna do about it <laughs> well let's get up here I'm really not worried about getting pinned by absolutely anything and if you haven't figured it out yet I I feel like this is an even better E75 and obviously if you play World of Tanks you know what the E75 is because it had a 128 millimeter gun and it was like a Tiger II but stronger this is like a E75 but also stronger stabilizer and all that and it's a whole lot faster the E75 is so damn slow alright and it's stabilized I think I already said that that was easy. Oh, there they are. The reload's not that bad either. I hope they don't hit my track. If they hit my track, it's over. Alright. I'm gonna keep moving to hopefully have them not hit my track. It sucks not having a stabilized gun, doesn't it? I don't know what he is shooting at, but it obviously ain't me. Come on. Come on. Okay, that... That should have killed him. I... I know it pinned, because I got the little reticle thing. Oh, okay. That was an ammo rack. The Halibar 1. I'm pretty sure that's a very common tank to see on this uh, scenario. Now, when I was testing this, I fought Togs. Let's hope we fight Togs again. Oh, I can see them. Let's try to take a shot from back here. Oh, it's not Togs. I shot over him. I, I really wonder how far this actually is. I bounced it off the ground. Oh my god, they tracked me. Son of a bitch. Dang, hit right under him. Oh, we can still kill him. Oh, I think I, I hit him. I didn't get him, but I hit him. Yeah, these guys really have no chance of actually pinning me from here. Ooh, right in the front of the turret. I think I can kill them all. If not, if they decide they don't want to come over here, then... We obviously know how this is going to go. Dang, I bounced. Come on. Come on, reload. Got him. That was a lower plate. Oh, there's two right here. So it's normally only five on here, I think. Yeah, they're not going to pin me. That's six of them, because those three got killed, and then there's these three. Okay. What's the side of my tank look like? That looks, that looks cool. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to get through me. And I think you're the last one. If not, no, I guess there's more. Well, I obviously cannot go hunt them down because reasons that might not be apparent at first. But uh, I can't move. But look how many times I got shot. That's insane. Oh, no, somebody shot. I saw the round. Oh, he's right there. Uh, 
Um. Wait, I see the other one. He's like, he's like to the left of this one. You look down there in that hole, but I can't go chase him. That's the last one. But well, we're going to call it here. Obviously, this thing's going to win. I mean, look at the front of the tank. How many times I've been shot, and they have literally done nothing to me. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry it's taken me so long. Like I said, if you want to send me anything, um, go ahead. Do it on either ICO. You can tag me on the Sprocket Official or just message me directly. Um, if it's on the Sprocket Official, I would prefer you to go ahead and send them to me directly because that would be easier for me. Um, but, like I said, sorry it took me so long. I'm going to try my best to keep going as soon as I can. But, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all later.